five, four, three, two. I know, you see, somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. Live a life, breathe air. I know somehow I'm gonna get there and be so wonderful. You take one, and it's time to see the brightest side of every situation. Sometimes we're meant to be so little, but then there's the rest of me. Leave it all to me. Leave it all to me. Just leave it all to me. Hey guys, welcome back to Newsflash. I can't believe it's finally November. October is over. Yeah, your costume ate, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Mignon. Did you try that Popeyes? It was so bussin'. No, I didn't, but let's go see if the teachers know what these words mean. <laughs> We're gonna go ask teachers what their favorite slang word that they've heard from their students is and what they think it means. Slang word that you've heard a student say. Um, I, I'm gonna, uh, we ate that, we ate that. What do you think that means? We killed it, we killed it. I always say, hello, like, because my students always say it like that, especially last year. They'd be like, hello, like, I can't believe something um, happened, like, I'm questioning it, that's what it means. Slay. I don't really know what it means except like, all right, cool. <laughs> favorite word is dip and I know dip means like peace out I'm leaving but as a Gen Xer I just hear the song when you dip I said we dip when you dip I said we dip okay so my favorite one is Evelyn Monstead she says period for everything <laughs> period I think it means she's done with me and she doesn't want to keep talking to me like it's over the conversation is done so hype and slay They've used the word either bus or bust. I don't know what it means, and it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I guess my favorite one is uh, slay. Um, I know what it means, it, and uh, kids always ask me, what it, how do you say that in French? And in French it would be uh, tuer le dragon. Okay, my favorite one is dupe. Um, I think you all did a segment on dupe last year, and I wasn't exactly clear on the meaning, so when I asked my daughter, who was a sixth grader at the time, what dupe meant, she explained. It was like a duplicate, a copy of like Lululemon leggings. And then the next day on Saturday, I was driving around somewhere and she told me, Mom, you're kind of like an uber dupe. So the eighth graders have been saying bussin'. And I think that means something that's cool, but I don't know. Our first teacher rally dance practice and I went to the volleyball game and one of the cheerleaders asked me if I ate at practice and I said no, why would I eat during dance practice, that doesn't make any sense. She said no, but did you eat? And I was like no, again, you don't eat while you're dancing. So that's when I learned what it means to eat or ate, it's to like slay, you know, kill it, crush it. All that good stuff, so I ate this question. So the slang word that I heard this, su this summer when I was on our trip in Nicaragua was muffin. And it was to describe someone who I guess is just very quiet and sweet and I guess harmless. My favorite slang term is bussin' and it makes my kids cringe when I say it. But anytime something's tasty, I'm like, this hamburger from Company Burger is bust. Every slang word is equally mysterious to me. Period. It's time to finish that lyric. Let's go. And you know the words to the song. Sing along, sing along. Let's go see if y'all know the words to the song. Last Christmas, <laughs> I gave you my heart, and the, the very next day, day you gave it, it away. Wait, what are you doing? This. There's what? 
That's finish not the lyric. That's not a finish of a there lyric. Is. You say what's next. You gotta go. There's. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fire. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a place. Wait. There's a. Aaliyah. I don't know. That's the so fire started in my heart. And if. And this if. is. And this if. is my last. <laughs> no! Because. Tonight will be the night. <laughs> because I'm happy. Crap along. Butterfly. In the sky. Standing in. The light of your halo. Yeah. Ladies all. <laughs> Ladies all. That, that doesn't make a difference. You're singing it over and over again. Ladies all. Jump in the air. Say, I guess. I don't know this. <laughs> you say. What can make, make me feel this way? <laughs> Are uh, you ready? No, it's a song. Arg. <laughs> Our God. Oh, our God is an awesome God. Wait. <laughs> Wake up. That we should try again later. Wake up. Wake, Wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> don't. No, I don't know. Don't stop believing. No. Which song are we doing? Oh. Twenty-one. <laughs> you know it. You used to call me on your cell phone. <laughs> Time for what? <laughs> oh no, this is a battle. I can't do this. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, let's go. It's time. <laughs> Come on, let's go. No, you got it. It's time. <laughs> Boy. Oh, killing me softly. And I'm still falling. Still the one I need, I will always be with you. Hey, Mignon. Oh, thank you so much for sharing your Halloween candy with me. Of course. Let's go share it with the Italians and see if they want any. Hi, guys. Hi guys. I'm Ginevra. And I'm Alessandro. And today we're trying American <laughs> candies. Okay, now we start with this. <laughs> And almond joy. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, so from um, one to ten. Three. <laughs> like seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, seven. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back in our channel. Today we're going to try. Present. My name is Margarita. And my name is Sarah. And yes. The first one is air ads, orange. <laughs> no, I guess it's brato. Mm. No. I don't like it. I don't like orange don't flavor, like so two. Zero. Now we are going to try Huba Buba. Huba Baba. Oh! Huba Baba. Non te No. Dai. Three, two, one, go. Yes, it's like the baby mm. bubble. It's like yeah. flavorless. Out of ten. Five. Ten. The second Mar one is <laughs> Twizzlers. Come on, Margarita, take one. <laughs> it smells weird. Why are you? Three, two, one, go. That's so gross. Guys, not approved. <laughs> Call the ambulance. Cheers, Levi, cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One. Uh, eight and a half. Yeah? I love it. Why do you not like it? No, because it's too sour. Like. <laughs> you don't like sour? Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Luffy Taffy Candy. Mine is cherry. <laughs> and mine is uh, grape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they are matched to us. <laughs> yes. <coughs> I think before. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's zero. <laughs> the last one. Smart is. Mezzo Is it good? Yeah, one. yeah, this one's good. One. Is it one? What? Nine. One? No, I don't like Nine. this. Nine for Moonline. Thank you for see our video and like and subscribe on the channel and we we'll see you in another video. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. So That's thank it. you guys. Thank you very much. Subscribe, guys. smash like, <laughs> and <laughs> and see you next time. Yeah. It's time for question of the week. It's time for question of the week. What's the question? When is it too early to start listening to Christmas music? Let's go. Okay, so um, before we start asking people questions, I just need to say how I feel. If I hear Christmas music and it's not Christmas time, and I get excited because it's like not Christmas yet, like what's the point of getting myself excited for Christmas time when it's not even coming yet? Also, it doesn't even sound good unless you're in the Christmas spirit, so why would you do that? I know this is kind of an unpopular opinion, but I think you should listen to any holiday music within their respective month. It's never too early. Well, I personally don't think it's ever too early. I, I feel like if you, Christmas music yeah. makes you happy, listen to Christmas music. That's where we disagree. When is it too early to start listening to Christmas music? Um, well, I already have. So, I would say, you know that one friend who's like obsessed with Christmas? If you listen to it before her, then that's a problem. Yeah, we agree. I agree. When is it too early to start listening to Christmas music? Never. But like right now is like the time. Like right after Halloween is when you should start. I'd say September. You have to wait until October, I'd say. Okay, yeah. Do not listen to Christmas music until the day after Thanksgiving. When is it too early to start listening to Christmas music? Literally never. I listen to it year round. <laughs> when is it too early to start listening to Christmas music? Never. <laughs> It is too early to listen to Christmas music if you're listening to it right now. You can only listen to it starting after you eat on Thanksgiving. Um, after Thanksgiving is when you can start. Every holiday deserves its time. We'll see you same time, same place next week on News Flash.